Crystal from Copper Kettle Farms and I wanted to do a quick review on a app that I've been playing with recently called My Library and I'm going to post a link down below and I wanted to go through the motions of why I feel like this is important for homesteaders. A lot of times when Donald and I, because we're addicted to TSC, let's just say it. I think all of us homesteaders are, are fairly uh, addicted to TSC. We go there a lot and one of the things we love to do is go through the book section because you can't own enough knowledge and you really should never stop learning. So we go to the book section a lot and then we see books and we're like, do we own this book? I honestly don't know. I don't remember. I feel like I've bought it, but I'm not sure. And then sometimes we will get it and we have it. So then we've spent money on a book that we don't need. Um, I recently did that because I couldn't find the book. I'm fairly certain I've got it, but I haven't found it yet. So I went ahead and rebought it. If I do happen to have it, I will just use my second one as a giveaway thing. However, in order to prevent unneeded spending, especially right now, I decided to find a way for us to have a, an, a library or a database of the books that we have. And my friend Jessica over at J Love Adventures showed me an app that her husband uses for his comic books to keep track of them. And I tried this one out and it works phenomenally. And I'll tell you why. The reason I like it the most is one, it scans the, the ISBN barcode on the back of most books. And I do have some that are too old that I have to enter in the ma it manually. But it scans them in. It, it um, loads up all the information for the majority. I would say 95% of them. And it lets you know if you've already got it. So I can be in a bookstore and scan it real quick. And it would say, oh, you've already got this book. And I was like, great, perfect. And the other thing I like about it is if Donald's at a store, I can actually export the app on my phone because I'm the one that's going to be putting these books in and then upload it to his app on his phone. That way he has the exact same database and then I can just keep exporting and importing as needed. So that's really important for me if in case Donald's out somewhere and needs to scan a book and see if we've already owned it. Um, so let's go ahead and show you this app. I'm going to do a walkthrough of the different features that I found, how to add a book, um, if you can't find a book, how to add it manually, things like that. And hopefully this will be useful for homesteaders in general, but really for anybody. So let's take a look. All right, guys, I'm going to show you the app real quick. Now I'm going to use the uh, Android Play Store, but you can find similar apps on the app store for iPhone so I'm sure. This one's called My Library by Julian Keith. I really like this one. It's the first one I tried, so there are others out there that you could, I mean, you can look at all of these. There's a whole bunch out there. This is the one I've tried and I really like it so far. So, um, but again, it's My Library by Julian Keith. I will put a link below in the description and I have it here on my list. I've already put a whole bunch of our books in it, 114 it looks like. But I have tons more to add, like hundreds more. So it's, it's going to be a process for me to go through and do this. But what I like about this app is I can export it and then put it on Donald's phone as well. So if he's at the store and sees a book he wants to buy, he can then be like, hey, this is a book that I've already got. But let me go ahead. I'm going to show you adding a book. And then we're going to show you um, what information it keeps. Um, if you try to add a book that you've already got, what happens. And I think you guys will find this useful. So... On the bottom right, we have this add book button. And there's a couple of different ways you can find it. Um, the ISBN search is the most common. You see you can either type in the number here or if you look on the right here, right here, that is the button for just scanning. So let me show you. I'm going to scan this book, the 2016 Herbal Almanac, on the back. I just point, shoot, it pulls everything up. Um, it has it listed as body, mind, and spirit, and there are some metaphysical things in this book, but it also has like you know, cooking and recipes and things. So I'm actually going to change the category. You can customize your categories for whatever you want, but I have a category for herbs. I'd rather everything just kind of be in the same category. It has a picture available, so you can add your own notes to it if you want. Um, I haven't done any of that and then I just hit save. Now if I were to go in again, hit the scan and try to scan it again, and it's going to be like this book's already in your library, do you want to add it anyway? That would be a no. Now I'm also going to do a um, ISBN enter in the number specifically just so you can see that part. So 
This one is 978-15801, whoops, 1719461946. So let's see if it pulls that one up. And that is the book that I'm looking at now. So house and home for the category, that's perfectly fine with me. And I'll go ahead and add that one. So you can add by name. Now I've had a couple books that are so old that they can't can't find them. So let me see, let me find one real quick. That I know I had to look it up because you, there's no ISBN number or the one that was associated with it no longer worked. And this one was called Herbal Delights Search. And then I can find my let's see, Leal. So the first one here is the book. Now that's a different cover than the one I have. So I went ahead and added that one, but let's check and see if the cover for the one I actually have is on here now. So that is one that I could certainly utilize if I didn't have an ISBN number. So that's basically how you can kind of add all of your books to your library as you go, and even the ones that you can't find. If you do have one that you absolutely can't find it, and it's not searching and finding it either, you can add a book by hand I've never done it. It takes a little bit more time, obviously, but let's go back. If you had to add a book manually, you can type in all the information. And this might be a good way if you want to start archiving magazines. Like, you know how Mother Earth News comes out with um, herbal almanacs of some sort. I'm just gonna show you. Last name, we'll say news. First name, Mother Earth. That's fine. You could put data in here like volume five, issue 12, probably um, your series, or yeah, there you go. You can t your series and volume here if you want, your category. Let me see if it has a way, because I haven't bothered to look at this yet. So it has a couple other options here. If you click on the top left corner, you can go by books, comics, and video games if you want to archive that stuff. It does not have a section for your magazines yet, which I'm hoping it does eventually, but let's look at statistics. So here's my top 10 authors right now. Joel Salatin, of course, is one of our top authors. If I keep scrolling, Top 10 publishers, top 10 categories. I've mostly got gardening books in here right now and house and home. I do have a couple of business books I keep in here, farming. You can see some of these categories. Some of them are categorized weird, like some of the ones on goats, they list as technology and engineering for some reason. I don't know why. Whoops. If I wanted to sort by my categories, let's see what's under technology and engineering. I think I've, so this one I'll leave under there, that's fine. If I want to look up all the books I have on herbs, let's unclick technology, validate. So here's all the ones that are currently in my herb category. Now some of them will cross, you, you have to pay attention to what categories you're putting them in. So if I were to go under farming, and let's take off herbs, let's see if any of these can be, no, it looks like these, mostly just farming. I'm going to take off farming. Maybe House at Home has some herb books in it that I need to recategorize. Folk Remedy Encyclopedia, maybe. So you can go through and you basically would just go into a book if you needed to edit it on the top right here. You can change its category if you need to change it out. For this one, honestly, I would take out House and Home and I made a category called Chickens and put it there instead. Backyard homestead. I mean, maybe I'll make a homestead category. I don't know. You can customize your categories though, which is nice. Wish list. I mean, you can put maybe scan in some books while you're at TSC and be like, these are the ones I want that I don't have yet. You can export your library into a file. You can import a library. Um, let's see what's under settings. Obviously, you don't want to delete your library, but you can reopen Scanner automatically after an item, adding an item to the library. Don't download covers, which of course I would want to do that. But I honestly, I would recommend 
download or exporting a copy of your library anyway and put it in your Google Drive or Dropbox. That's where I would put it. Let's see, Copper Kettle Farms. Yes, I want to allow it. So now I can export to my drive and I can share that with Donald as well. And let's go ahead and export. So I'll find that in my Google, my Google Drive now, but you can see we already started adding a bunch of our books. It's an easy way to reference a book. If I'm, if I'm in TSC and I see a book I want, I'm just going to do this real quick and be like, hey, do I have this book? I don't remember if I have this book. I don't have this book, so I could buy it if I wanted to. And here's another one I want to add. Do I have this book? No, and look, this one is an order book that does not have the series. What a category, herbal mixtures and spicy blends. So I would honestly probably put this one under herbs. And I think you have to have a last name and a first name. So this one says, uh, we'll just do the, who it's edited by. Balmuth, first name, Deborah. Summary, I'm not worried about right now. I just want to get it in. And that may be the minimum I have to put in it. There we go. So now if I were to go back, rescan it. Do I want to add it? No. So if I want to search for it, let's do the word search. Herbal. So that's for adding, never mind. So if I want to find a particular book, I want to go up the top here and just do herbal and it automatically goes through all the ones that have herbal in the title. So there's the old herbal delight. So I do have herbal delights in here twice. This first one is the one that I, I found. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one. If I want to delete a book, where do I go to delete? Let's find out. I'm going to hover over it. There we go. And then I'm going to hit the trash can. So basically, hold your thumb down over it, and it'll give you the menu to delete that book. So I don't want it in there twice. And then I want to find the one I just scanned. So herb mixtures. There it is. So this is the book I just added. I wonder if it'll let me take a picture. Yes, it does. So let's go ahead and take a picture of this one and add it to my book. Yes, that's the one I want to use. So there, I can make my own picture for the library if I want. So any of these books that don't have a picture, you can go in and edit and add your own. I don't have this one sitting in front of me right now, but I'll probably go back and see which ones need photos added just to make sure that it's complete and for visual reference to find one that I'm interested in but that's the app it's actually really helpful I think if I'm out and I need to figure out whether a book is already in my library I can do that and um, if I want to find it I mean I could put notes in here of where I've got it stored if I want like let's say I'm trying to think of what I would put comment title location um, upstairs office okay now I know where it's located maybe I have all my books on trees up there I don't know you could certainly put stuff like that and then all comments all the ones that have locations added I could do that upstairs office I can pick just upstairs office or some other location so very useful app I definitely recommend it if you have one that you prefer let me know but this one I think is going to be very useful for us moving forward and what also is useful about something like this is if you have a house fire you have a database library that you can use for insurance to get refunded for the amount of loss so it's always important to have both video and or a database of existing items in your home, books being one of them, because for homesteaders, books are a treasure for us. These are a necessity, so hope you guys enjoy. I definitely recommend the app, and let me know what you think. Mm -hmm.